literally thousands. So please do keep them coming in. Uh, good morning. Oh, boys. Oh, yeah. PJ and Duncan, they are the stars of this program. I'm just going to give you a big showbiz entrance. Uh, we haven't got time for Too gassing really and stuff like that. Well, we're we off to do Top the Pops today. Okay, can I come? You can. Oh, picture, all right, picture then. Lift. All right, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, well, while we go and find the car, take a look at what else is coming up in this action-packed program. I'll be speaking to these two a little bit later on. In the meantime, let's take a look at what's in production this month. And the first item should please Stuart Carson. So do these two, mind you. Since we've got into this car, that phone hasn't stopped ringing at the moment. Uh, Ant's uh, doing a telephone when interview I went with Smash Hits magazine. Oh, Declan, doesn't all this kind of running around well, interviews, one thing after another, get to you after a while? Uh, not really. Um, it's still quite new to us, really. We've, we've only been doing it for just over a year now. And so the novelty really hasn't worn off yet. Right. How about Talk the Pops? Do you enjoy doing that? Yeah, that's brilliant. It's got such a history about it because it's such an old programme and the amount of bands that have appeared there before. So it's got sort of an atmosphere when you walk in the studio. It's really nice to do. Right, well, we'll be obviously chatting to these two a bit more later on. First, though, your letters and phone calls tell us your favourite items on Take Two are our interviews with stars like these two and our behind the scenes. Well, today we've got a double dose for you. Right now, Stuart Miles takes us behind the scenes of Blue Peter. We can honestly say that, I mean, the success we've had, we wouldn't, we never really, well, we dreamed that we would have it, but we never thought we would. I don't think. I never thought it anyway. Let's talk about basic things. What do your family think about your success? I think they enjoy it. At first it was a bit of a novelty and sort of, they, did, they sort of had a laugh about it. But I think they, they think I'm a bit serious now. They, they take me a bit serious when I say I want to be a pop star. My, my mum's sort of like, I don't know, Mom, I'm top of the pops. Oh, you're on top of the pops again, are you? <laughs> yeah, so will you, find, will you find a tape to tape it on? Oh, well, I don't know if you've got any blank ones, actually. You don't understand. <laughs> I know, we're on it again. <laughs> is, it, is it something that you really enjoy, or is it ultimately a bit of a nightmare? The days sort of blur, you know when people say the days blur into one? They do, really. But I, I still enjoy, I mean, I still enjoy interviews like this. And, and do you think uh, you've changed? I mean, are you different people than, say, you were three or four years ago? I don't think so. I mean, I think we're more aware now, and we've grown up a lot. Mm. Uh, because we, we were forced to grow up more quickly doing the job that we did, uh, from even when we were 13. But I don't think we've changed, like, we've become all la da <laughs> ponzi people. la da That's think... what Leslie Grantham said the other day. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> la <-dee> da <laughs> Because we've got, we've got a lot of people around us that, that bring us back down with a bump. What do you do away from all this showbiz stuff? How do you kind of relax, you know, keep your feet on the ground and stay sane? There's not, there's, tell, tell you the truth, there's not a lot of time that we have away from everything. But when we do, we just sort of rest and, and we go go to the gym or we swim or whatever, just to, to wind down and relax uh, and watch TV. I mean, the best the best relaxation is is getting home for like three or four days, really. Just getting just away getting, from like, Just seeing your mates again, you know, and playing football on a Sunday or whatever, and just doing normal things, really. Obviously, things are going really well for you two at the moment, but do you think it's going to last? Not going to last forever, but we're prepared for that. I mean, we know, we know it's a limited lifespan, a pop star. Could last for another 10 days, could last 10 weeks, could last 10 years. So we're, we're prepared for that. And I mean, we've got a few strings to our bow. And so mm. hopefully we, we, we won't be sort of down and outs. Yeah, right? I mean, we, I mean we, we're always doing other stuff like we're doing our own TV show for BBC and stuff. So it's not, I mean, if this failed, it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be able to work, I hope. <laughs> I mean, we, we had other options and stuff open. Take <laughs> Different. Oh, that's for us. Oops. Looks like you've got to go. Thanks for that. Good luck. Thank you. See you later. Bye. 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 Now, Evans is due to take over Radio 1's breakfast show, so we'll see if that makes any difference. Now, I'm here in the dressing room with Ashley Rossiter. Ashley, what do you do in all of this? I'm uh, a stylist. That means I get clothes for bands. So what are you doing with PJ and Duncan? How does it work? Uh, well, basically, I go out and I get a lot of clothes that are hired, and uh, I just bring them along and the boys choose what they'd like to wear. How do you know what kind of stuff they like? I think that just comes from having worked with them quite a lot. You get to know at the end of the day who likes what. Right. OK, well, we'd better leave you to get on with sorting them out. In the meantime, some of you may have been lucky enough over the half-term holidays to see the new Jungle Book. Jungle Book in any shape. Plane to Germany. And that's about it from us for this month, too. But please do keep all your comments coming in on the box.